Hey YouTubers, welcome to part 2 of my video on how to fix an Xbox 360 disk drive that is not opening. So we've taken apart the Xbox, uh, we've removed the back jacket, we've done all that, that was done in part 2. I've shown you guys, uh, I've labeled out where you're going to need to remove the screws. And uh, you've removed the screws hopefully. And now we're going to flip our Xbox 360 over. And we're going to pull up on this disc tray just like this. You're not going to want to pry left and right. Just pull up straight. Just like that. Just pull up straight. You don't want to jiggle it around like that. Okay. Now, before we take apart this Xbox, um, you're going to want to... Um, and before you, uh, or sorry, remove the disc drive from the motherboard and everything, you're going to want to eject this, um, this disc drive. So you want to eject it. And um, how you can do that is by pushing your uh, paper clip right into, in between this, you'll see a square here. Get some light on that. Come on. Yeah, there's going to be a square right here where this black spot is on the Xbox. There's going to be a square and a circle. Right in between the square and the circle, there's going to be a rectangle that's horizontal like this. Stick your uh, paper clip in that and it'll open. Or you can just, um, you know, you can just remove the, I mean, you could just plug it back into the, into the power and push the eject button. It's going to be this blue button here. But that's only if it, you know, it might not work because the, you know, the disk drive button isn't working in the first place. So now, we're going to turn this around. With our disk tray open, we're going to pull, we're going to take this whole tray, uh, this whole disk drive up from the Xbox and remove these two cords here. And you want to remove the cords. Don't jank, you know, don't jank, wow, don't yank, excuse me, on the, uh, on the cords here. Uh, like, get, pull them by their, by the head. You don't want to pull by the wire, because the wire can damage stuff if you pull it by the wire. Now you have this whole thing open. You will see four screws here, here, here and here. You'll see four screws there. Uh, I've removed them already just because they, they took forever. And um, it's amazing how long and boring screw, screw driving can be on a video. So I just skipped through that. I have did it already, put the thing back together. Um, now you're going to want to flip this over and pull up just like we did on the Xbox. Pull directly up. You might want to Jiggling it around might help. Pushing down on these legs here. See? And then there we go. This whole top part will come off. And now you can see the innards of the uh, of this tray here. Move this back just a little bit. Just move it down the line. And you'll see here, this right here is your rubber band that opens your disc tray. You're going to want to remove that just like that just by you know prying on it and looping it around so now we have a rubber band here this rubber band has probably worn out and um, all we're gonna do is strengthen it or replace it with a new rubber band and I'm sure if you googled it you can find out the exact measurements of this rubber band and and find a perfect replacement but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to strengthen it. What you're going to want to do, you want to get a cup about, I don't know, about this size. And you're going to want to fill it with water and microwave it for like, like two minutes or something like that. Get it really, really hot. And so go ahead and do that. And then have a cup of water, you know, just put a cold cup of water. Uh, and have that ready and we'll be right back alright 
Now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to want to take your knife and just stick it right here on the end of the, uh, stick the rubber band on the end of the knife. And you're going to want to submerge, like completely submerge that, uh, that rubber band and the boiling hot water for like, I don't know, 15, you know, 10 to 15, maybe even 20 seconds if you want. And uh, immediately you're going to want to pull this out and dip it in the cold water. And um, like I said, I've already done this before, so this isn't very much an important step to me, but it's going to be the critical step for you guys. Then you're going to want to dry off your rubber band. And now we're just going to be putting the rubber band back on. And we're going to be putting the Xbox 360 back together, and we'll see that our um, it it uh, it works hopefully. So now, um, also you guys want to keep in mind. I didn't even I didn't even say anything about this. Um, you're going to want to make sure that oh wow, Let's switch to uh, okay. You're going to want to make sure that there's nothing. Just look all around the side trays here, and make sure there's no obstructions. You know, make sure there's no lint or um, really anything that's very solid that that could be blocking this thing from wanting to come out make sure this thing moves you know clearly like that make sure all the gears right here are clean I know you guys can't see this very well because my cameras it's very it's pretty dark in my living room right now but just make sure all of these gears work turn this circle and if that circle is closing it and if you turn it left it'll open it then everything should be fine, and all the gears work, and um, this rubber band trick should work. Because all it, all it does is you push the eject button, it gets this thing spinning, and then that rubber band will cause this thing to spin and open your disc tray, or close your disc tray. And uh, that rubber band gets worn out, and it, it doesn't want to very efficiently, um, you know, cause this thing to close or open. That's why it just it doesn't work. It just locks up right here. And that's that sound you're hearing. So you're going to want to take your rubber band, put the rubber band over that big circle there. And, you know, something like that would be able to hold this while I did this would be more efficient instead of this thing. But, like this little paper clip I'm using, but this worked. Okay. Now it went over it. And a way you can just test if this works, try to turn the little wheel if the little wheel makes the big wheel turn then that means you got it to work and uh... you know do this thing in a circle to make sure everything's working good you put the rubber band back on correctly because if you don't put the rubber band on right it's not going to open or close okay we're pretty much done here now um, so you can close that thing up and we're going to be putting back together the um, we're gonna be putting back together the disc tray. Put this the, the the top with the yellow and barcode on it. That's the top. Close that back up with the bottom. And find all of your screws, which might actually take me a while. Always keep your screws in like a contained area, you guys. Um don't lose your screws. Um, I can't find the last screw. I'll just go ahead and screw it together. Whatever. Is it right under? No, nope. of course not. Alright, well. Okay. And now, you're just going to want to put all of your screws on in here. I'll cut back whenever that's done.